In computing, a state file firewall or state file inspection, is a firewall that keeps track of the state of network connections traveling across it. The firewall is programmed to distinguish legitimate packets for different types of connections. Only packets matching a known active connection will be allowed by the firewall. Others will be rejected. State file inspection, also referred to as dynamic packet filtering, is a security feature often included in business networks. Checkpoint Software introduced state file inspection in the use of its firewall one in 1994 Euro Euro. History, before the advent of state file firewalls, a stateless firewall, a firewall that treats each network frame in isolation, was normal. Such packet filters operate at the network layer and function more efficiently because they only look at the header part of a packet. A drawback of pure packet filters is that they're stateless. They have no memory of previous packets which makes them vulnerable to spoofing attacks. Such a firewall has no way of knowing if any given packet is part of an existing connection, is trying to establish a new connection, or is just a rogue packet. Modern firewalls are connection-aware, offering network administrators finer-grained control of network traffic. The classic example of a network operation that may fail with a stateless firewall is the file transfer protocol. By design, such protocols need to be able to open connections to arbitrary high ports to function properly. Since a stateless firewall has no way of knowing that the packet destined to the protected network is part of a legitimate FTP session, it will drop the packet. State file firewalls solve this problem by maintaining a table of open connections and intelligently associating new connection requests with existing legitimate connections. Early attempts at producing firewalls operated at the application layer, which is the very top of the 7-layer OSI model. This method required exorbitant amounts of computing power and is commonly used in modern implementations. Description A state file firewall keeps track of the state of network connections and is able to hold significant attributes of each connection in memory. These attributes are collectively known as the state of the connection, and may include such details as the IP addresses and ports involved in the connection and the sequence numbers of the packets traversing the connection. State file inspection monitors incoming and outgoing packets over time, as well as the state of the connection, and stores the data in dynamic state tables. This cumulative data is evaluated, so that filtering decisions would not only be based on administrator-defined rules, but also on context that has been built by previous connections as well as previous packets belonging to the same connection. The most CPU-intensive checking is performed at the time of setup of the connection. Entries are created only for TCP connections or UDP streams that satisfy a defined security policy. After that, all packets are processed rapidly because it is simple and fast to determine whether it belongs to an existing, pre-screen session. Packets associated with these sessions are permitted to pass through the firewall. Sessions that do not match any policy are denied, as packets that do not match an existing table entry. In order to prevent the state table from filling up, sessions will time out if no traffic has passed for a certain period. These stale connections are removed from the state table. Many applications therefore send key pallid messages periodically in order to stop a firewall from dropping the connection during periods of no user activity, though some firewalls can be instructed to send these messages for applications. Depending on the connection protocol, maintaining a connection's state is more or less complex for the firewall. For example, TCP is inherently a state file protocol as connections are established with a three-way handshake and ended with a thin, ACK exchange. This means that all packets with SYN in their header received by the firewall are interpreted to open new connections. If the service requested by the client is available on the server, it will respond with a SYN ACK packet which the firewall will also track. Once the firewall then receives the client's ACK response, it transfers the connection to the established state as the connection has been authenticated by directionally. This allows tracking of future packets through the established connection. Simultaneously, the firewall drops all packets which are not associated with an existing connection recorded in its state table, preventing unsolicited connections with the protected machine by black hat hacking. 
Other connection protocols, namely UDP and ICMP, are not based on bidirectional connections like TCP, making a state foul firewall somewhat less secure. In order to track a connection state in these cases, a firewall must transfer sessions to the established state after seeing the first valid packet. It can then only track the connection through addresses and ports of the following packet source and destination. Unlike TCP connections, which can be closed by a FIN, ACK exchange, these connectionless protocols allow a session to end only by timeout. This for example makes UDP vulnerable to UDP hole punching. By keeping track of the connection state, state foul firewalls provide added efficiency in terms of packet inspection. This is because for existing connections the firewall need only check the state table, instead of checking the packet against the firewall's rule set, which can be extensive. Additionally, in the case of a match with the state table, the firewall does not need to perform deep packet inspection. Application level filters. Packet filtering alone is not regarded as providing enough protection. In order to effectively block peer-to-peer -peer related network traffic, what is needed is a firewall that does application filtering, which can be regarded as an extension to state file packet inspection. State file packet inspection can determine what type of protocol is being sent over each port, but application level filters look at what a protocol is being used for. For example, an application level filter might be able to tell the difference between HTTP traffic used to access a web page and HTTP traffic used for file sharing, whereas a firewall that is only performing packet filtering would treat all HTTP traffic equally. Application layer firewalls are generally slower than state file inspection. Application layer firewalls are sometimes implemented using application proxies. Two TCP connections are established, one between the packet source and the firewall, another between the firewall and the packet destination. Application proxies intercept arriving packets on behalf of the destination, examine application payload, and then relay permitted packets to the destination. Suspicious data is dropped and the client and server never communicate directly with each other. Proxies necessarily involve more protocol stack overhead than inspecting packets at the network layer. Furthermore, because a unique proxy is required for each application, proxy firewalls can be less flexible and slower to upgrade than state file inspection firewalls. Nevertheless, because application level proxies are application aware, the proxies can more easily handle complex protocols like H323 or SIP which are used for video conferencing and VoIP. Pitfalls, vulnerabilities, there is a risk that vulnerabilities in individual protocol decoders could allow an attacker to gain control over the firewall. This concern highlights the need to keep firewall software updated. Some state file firewalls also raise the possibility that individual hosts can be tricked into soliciting outside connections. This possibility can only be completely eliminated by auditing the host software. Some firewalls can be defeated in this way by simply viewing a web page. See also References